Hey guys, it's Simon Rush, and someone asked me to play the ELC AMX, so sure, why not? I'd love to play this tank. Um, so we're on the map Airfield, it's a standard game. Typically, Airfield is probably one of the worst maps in the game, in my opinion. A lot of times what will happen is heavy tanks will go to the meat grinder, which is located right about here, and they will just trade shots. And typically what will happen is the team who pushes first loses, because tank destroyers will camp back here and back here. So pushing on this map is really it doesn't work i typically like to go up to k7 i think it's k7 e7 excuse me and i'll just play from there in a light tank like this that should probably be the best way to deal with um you know a map such as this where it really sucks if you try to push but uh, yeah just keep that in mind so i got a pretty terrible spawn for trying to get to where i want to get to but i can still just cross over this place here. I believe I can do it if they haven't changed it. I actually haven't played light tanks in ages, so there we go. It works. Um, and I'm just going to pop up to here. What I'd expect to find is the majority of the enemy team's heavies are going to be up here, so uh, I'm going to be in a position where I can brawl with them. Brawling in light tanks is very easy. Basically, you just wait for people to reload, and then you shoot them. It's pretty simple stuff. So, I'm going to sit up here because I don't want to be, like, light, heavy tanks will expect people to be on this corner and I don't really want to be predictable. I'll just wait here and I will wait for someone to cross in front of me. I'm watching these 37s to the left, but, um, yeah, light tanks become, like, light when you play lights, you really have to be patient about them. If you try to be aggressive, typically you'll find you'll lose your hit points very quickly. When you've got 400 hit points in a tier 8 game, you know, it's pretty easy to die, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so they've got a comment over here. I might have a shot on him if he falls back. I'm not going to try to force anything though. Like if I get lit or anything, I'm just going to make sure I live until the end game. Because that's when my vehicle will become the most powerful. So you can see our T29 drove into the open. He died to a TD. That TD is going to be back here at... Uh, uh, shoot. <laughs> Somewhere too. Uh, he's basically just going to be camping their base. It looks like he's in D2. Um, so I'm just going to want to keep that in mind. It wouldn't really wouldn't surprise me if all their other TDs are back there as well. So yeah, that's just how this map works. I'm going to see if I can get shots in this A43 who's in their base. For now, I'm just going to be sniping for the most part. And that's typically how a lot of light tanks are played. Uh, some people might want to tell me that I should be scouting. They're what you call bad players. If you really think I should be scouting heavy tanks that can proxy spot each other, uh, you know, <laughs> what, I, what I have to say, I can't really say on YouTube, so, yeah. Alright, so, um, these guys are brawling. Again, you're gonna notice that the people who push are gonna die. I'd love to get shots onto these people, and I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna load gold, because I don't have time to, if I try to shoot at someone here, I'm not going to be able to sit there for long because there's going to be a couple TDs try sniping. So, yeah. What's happening is our T-44 is pushing up. I think that might give me an opportunity to push, and I think we'll just have to see how it goes. You'll notice I've done zero damage so far, so you just have to keep that in mind. You know, there aren't always opportunities to do damage, and some people let that piss them off, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, so... Yeah, so I am pushing up. I am going for this one-shot comet. I have to be careful of TDs who might be back there. You can see there's an RHM who hasn't left base who just shot at me. I'm going to finish off this comet, and then I'm going to turn around and go for the A43 who's behind me. Panther 2 is shooting HE, and he missed, so there is that. So this is actually being really aggressive. I wouldn't necessarily call it smart, so keep that in mind. Uh, I just got bored, so I wanted to shoot out something. Um... Let's see if we can help out this A43. I need to be careful about their camping RHM though, so just keep that in mind. That T20 prototype has a fire extinguisher. He got lit on fire twice though. I fully aimed that shot because if I missed, it was guaranteed that uh, T20 prototype was going to die. So, yeah, nothing I could have done there except did what I do. I mean, maybe I could have taken a hit for the T28 prototype, but the A43 was tunneled pretty hard. So, right now I've got hit points. I can actually take hits from this A43, so that's what I'm going to try to do if I get the chance. The A43 is running, which is probably a smart thing. He doesn't seem to be aiming his shots. That's probably the best thing right now, because he doesn't really want to sit in front of my gun. That wouldn't be too bright. So I'm just going to see if I can chase him down. I am faster than the A43. There is an RHM right over here. He is sort of looking at me, but not really. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. That would suck. Uh, we can just drift around this corner here and finish this guy off. There we go. So we are down a turret. It really doesn't matter. I mean, that RHM, you know, 
whatever. <laughs> Their HM probably isn't going to be looking at me. He's got a lot bigger problems to deal with. So we're going to see if I can maybe put a shot into him. I'm just going to sit behind him. I want to make sure he isn't really a threat. Yeah, he isn't looking at me. So if I just chill here, I can very easily find a shot into him. I'll do that. Okay, so there's the RHM. Looks like he's using the massive gun. So that thing actually has, like, pretty bad aim time. If he gets the chance... I don't want to risk getting shot at because he might just be able to splash damage me. Okay, so he's dead. I mean, the T-34 is going to finish him off. There's their TDs spotted in their base. Not really a big surprise. How I'm going to want to deal with them is I'm just going to push into them. I think there might be a TD here, so I just want to... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is good I didn't push that. I was thinking about just pushing it, but yeah, it's a really good thing I decided to not just YOLO into there. Now, I'm not sure what this SC100Y's view range is. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to back up all the way and see if I can out-view range him, because oftentimes uh, Russian TDs won't be able to spot things at distance. I mean, this is 300 meters, and you can see my sixth sense isn't going off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to aim this shot fully. He's not looking at me, so I have time to aim this, and I'm just going to want to make sure my shots count. So I'm going to take this. Naturally, that's going to pen. And if I get lit, I'm going to know it's my camo that's saving me. So I got spotted there. I'm going to wait until I get unspotted, and I can just keep repeating this process. I think it might be safer if I go even farther, though, so I don't have to get lit whenever I shoot him. So that's something just to keep in mind. So we're on cap right now. That's going to force the SU-100 to leave their base. You can see the su 100s coming to get a reset. I might be spotted here. It looks like I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of this SU-100 leaving their base and try to get behind him. That's going to give... Well, actually, no. I'll just wait here and turn him into a one-shot for the T-34. Where's the round? Okay, so this SU-100Y is going to come up right here, and I'm just going to wait for him so I can ambush him. You'll notice the game is actually relatively close, so me staying alive is going to be very important. The T-34 is continuing to do cap pressure, and there's stuff breaking right here, so the SU-100Y is, like, right here. Put a shot into him. Now I've got a 10-second reload. Should be able to finish him off, and I don't know why, but I am shooting gold. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Alright, so this guy's a one-shot, just put one more into him, and that's the kill. And now we can go deal with the AT-15 and the SU-152. I'm gonna get off cap, because capping is boring. I really, I'd rather just shoot at internet tanks, so... Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna pop around this corner, see if I can maybe spot someone. There you go, there's the AT-15. He was able to light me. Now, he's in a position where he has to come to us, but I also might just want to try to get one more shot of damage, you know, because damage is fun. Um, we're gonna see if I can maybe put a shot into him. We've got 10 seconds left on the game. Hopefully the 34 manages to get off cap, but if not, I'm just gonna aim this shot and make sure it counts. There we go. So we are able to put a shot into that guy. Now the- oh, that's an SU-152. I didn't notice. So I'm gonna want to help out this T-34. I'm gonna focus down this SU-152 simply because the 34 actually might want help. I want to keep his hit points in the game. The AT-15 is pushing up, but it's an AT-15. It's not a major threat. He did shoot. He missed. The T-34... How are we going to deal with this? Shit. I'm really wor worried about the T-34's ability to do anything. He did manage to kill the SU, though, so I'm just going to pop behind this guy and finish him off. I'm not going to use auto-aim, because there's no need. Also, if you auto-aim TDs like the AT-15 from the rear, it's very likely you're going to bounce, so just keep that in mind. I really think the C-34 should be able to get the kill. Cool, there we go. Let's go take a very quick look at the post-game stats. <laughs> that was a pretty fun game. Alrighty, so as you can see, that was a mastery badge. Uh, 12,000 win 8. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 2,100 damage, 3 kills, 1,287 base XP. Uh, in the end, <laughs> holy shit, look at this session. I did a Type 64 uh, replay, and I also just had um, another loss in the ELC, but whatever. Anyways, uh, pretty good session. As you can see, the ELC is pretty good at padding win 8. Um, they're fun tanks to play. Like, I really enjoy light tanks, especially because a lot of them revolve around patience. I'm more of a fast-paced player, so light tanks can be really, really good if you're trying to, uh, you know, just learn to be a bit more patient with the game, so keep that in mind. This guy says GG, GG to you too. So yeah, hopefully this video is helpful. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button, and I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.